makeup look, I'm going in with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm as my primer. This works great as a primer. It leaves your skin feeling very tacky, which is great for foundation to grip onto and hold onto. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation in the shade 112. This is my favorite foundation from the drugstore. It's so full coverage, perfect for any time of the year, perfect for a Halloween look. It's just perfect. I really love this foundation, but you guys already knew that. For concealer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer in the shade fair beige and I'm highlighting and concealing my under eyes, my chin, the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead and my eyelids to prime for eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to blend that out using my beauty blender. I really love this concealer. It's very, very full coverage and a little bit goes a long ways. It's really, really great and for $6 from e.l.f. I'm impressed. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 5 and I'm just going to press that into my skin to set everything in place using my Beauty Blender. I love this powder because it's very um, soft and airbrushed. I love the finish it leaves on my skin and it is tinted and it does have a little bit of coverage so it does help to give you an even more full coverage flawless base. Then I'm going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking the shade Pooter on a Morphe M537 brush and I'm just going to work that into my crease as my transition shade. I'm using windshield wiper motions and working that back and forth until I have the intensity that I would like and until it's very blended into the crease. Now I'm going in with buns on a Morphe JH36 brush and I'm just working that into the lowest part of my crease in windshield wiper motions, building up that intensity and making sure that it is blending well into the shade Pooter. You want to make sure that it is very nice and blended. I love when you can see the transition of blended colors in a smoky eye, but you shouldn't have any problem with blending with the Jaclyn Hill palette because all these Shadows blend together flawlessly and effortlessly. Now I'm taking that black shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm placing that onto my eyelid using a Face Secrets Duo Shadow Brush. I am just placing the black, kind of just getting the areas that I want it on my eyelid, just kind of sketching it out. You don't have to worry about being precise or building up the color yet. Then I'm going to go in with the NARS Velvet Shadow Stick in the shade Black. And this is what really helps a black smoky eye pop if you go in with a cream eyeshadow or something. So I'm just applying that to my eyelid. Once I have that shadow stick placed on my eyelid, then I'm going back in with that same, that same shadow brush I was using with the black shadow. And I'm applying black shadow to my eyelid and also blending out the edges where the, sta the shadow stick might look a little choppy. But I'm just blending and building up that intensity of the color. And yes, it just comes together very flawlessly, very effortlessly. It's so so easy to do this simple black smoky eye. Now I'm just taking the shade Pooter and Buns and I'm smoking out my lower lash line. Then I'm going in with the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Black and I'm just tight lining my eyelids. I'm taking that black eyeshadow again on a Morphe M432 brush and I'm just working that right against my lash line and blending out my lower lash line and just making sure that the lower lash line is smoked out and blended. P the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette and I'm taking the shade Angel on a Benefit Hula brush and I'm going to contour slash bronze up my face and I am going in on the contour here but don't worry I end up blending it out so if it looks a little intense and harsh at first don't worry and if 
you do like that intense harsh look then go for it okay i am a fan of bronzer and face products but anyways i am just going ahead and finishing off the face before we start creating the spider legs coming out from the eyes because you want the spider legs to be crawling over your face makeup if that makes sense then I'm um, just blending out my bronzer using my Morphe M437 brush. I just love running this against my face to blend out any face products if they're looking intense. Now I'm going in with my Morphe JH02 brush and I'm applying that same bronzer to my forehead. I'm going back in with my Morphe M437 brush and again just making sure all the bronzer is blended on my face and that we have no harsh lines. Now I'm going to contour my nose using that same bronzer on a Morphe M506 brush. It's very very simple how I contour my, no my, contour my nose. I just do two lines down the center of my nose, connect them at the end. I contour around my nostrils and my cupid's bow and then I blend it out using my e.l.f. concealer brush and I just keep it blending until everything is nice and subtle. And then yeah, that's pretty much how I contour my nose. It's super simple, um, but I add it in every video just in case you're new here and you don't know what I'm doing. So I just kind of try to rush through it because it's just, you can see what I'm doing. It's very obvious, but I like to explain. Now I'm going to bake using my translucent powder and this will just help carve out my face, make sure that everything is nice and clean and chiseled. I'm going to bake my nose. To highlight my face, I'm going in with the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone on a Morphe M510 brush. And I'm just building that highlight up so it can be nice and intense and glowy. For blush, I'm using the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the shade Video on a Sonia Kashuk number 113 brush. I love this blush so much. I used to be obsessed with it and use it on my channel all the time. Then I kind of put it down for a while. I don't know why, but I'm back on it. I'm back with this blush. It's so pretty on the face and I think it's a perfect blush for fall. So yeah, you should try it out check it out i don't know now i'm going in with the fenty beauty diamond balm and i'm just using my finger and i'm going over the areas that i highlight i found that my finger is the best way to apply this to your face to get the most sparkle it's so pretty and i thought it was so fun for this halloween look it makes your skin look very glowy but it's sparkly and so much fun i love adding this to the look it really completed the look now i'm just wiping away my bake using my morphe m430 37 brush then I'm quickly going to highlight my nose using my Morphe M510 brush then I'm going to wipe away the bake around my nose using my elf concealer brush okay so here's where things get complicated so just pay attention I'm going to take a Morphe lip liner or eyeliner. It's just a nude shade. You could use a nude or a white. And I'm just trying to start and sketch out where I want the legs at. As you can see, I already have the eye done. And I was going off of some pictures um, that I had on my phone. I am not the first one to create this look by far. Um, I got really inspired by Tina Halata. And also I saw this other picture from this artist but I don't know her name. It wasn't like her account that I saw the picture on. But anyways, um, they're the ones that I really want to recreate this look. So right now I'm going in with the Hank and Henry, Hank and Henry liquid black liner. And I'm just going over those areas that I sketched out with that nude um, eyeliner pencil. And I'm just going over it. So just very self-explanatory and simple right now. 
Now I'm going in with the Pretty Vulgar The Ink Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black List. And I'm just taking a little paintbrush and I'm just trying to get those legs a little bit more precise with this gel eyeliner. And um, I'm just kind of thickening up the legs and fixing them exactly how I want them. Take your time doing this step and if you do mess up at all, don't worry. You can always fix that with a little bit of foundation or concealer. Now I'm going in and I'm taking this water activated paint that I have. I'm using this white shade and I'm just starting to highlight some areas on the legs. So spiders have um, like three kinks in each leg so I kind of try to create something like that you know it doesn't have to be perfect it looks sick anyways it looks super cool just do your best and just let your artistic flow go now I'm going back in with that Henry and Hank um, liquid eyeliner and I'm just kind of carving out the areas that I did put the white to make sure that they're still like encased in the leg and I'm just adding a little bit of detail and stuff with these with this eyeliner and I'm just take your time and perfect it how you want it and how you feel it would look best now I'm going in with that black um, eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just a little pencil brush and you want to be very very light-handed with this part but you want to draw um, shadows this is what really makes the spider look like it's popping off of your face and so you want to connect the shadow from where the leg starts to where the leg ends you want to make sure that that line connects to each beginning and end and then leave a like just watch what i'm doing okay and be very light-handed i'm also using the shade moonstone to highlight the inner corner of my eyelid and then i also ended up adding the urban decay um heavy glitter liner in the shade midnight cowboy which i didn't show in the clip but I ended up adding that in the inner corner and I went ahead and added the backs in lashes in the style Cita 08 I hope I pronounced that right you guys can find her on Instagram then I'm going in with the Steve Laurent um, lip liner in the shade Vogue it's like a pinky pretty pinky nude lip liner <laughs> then I'm going in with the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade Venus to fill in my lips. And to top off the lips, I'm using the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease. I love using this um, Vivid Hot Lacquer around this time of the year because I just love this nude shade and I feel like I do a lot of smoky eyes in the fall or around Halloween and this is the perfect nude shade to go with any smoky eye. Then I'm going to set my face using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray because you want to make sure that this Halloween look is going to last you through the night and that is it. This is the final Spider Eye Halloween makeup tutorial. This was a look that I've wanted to recreate since last year. So I'm so excited that I finally recreated it. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. You guys should really check out Tino Halada's video because I was inspired by her. And also this other picture that I saw but I don't know who the artist was um so yes i want to give credit where it goes this was not my idea but it's super super cool and i absolutely love the way it turned out and what i like about it is that everyone's spider eye looks different but it always looks cool all the looks that i've seen anyone who has recreated this it always looks cool so even if you mess up it's still gonna look so cool i promise you guys it looks hard and it is time consuming but it's super easy i hope that this video was easy to follow along with because i know it was super um, compressed down because I had a lot of footage to edit and I tried to get everything in the video but I hope it was easy to follow along with and easy to understand if you guys do decide to recreate this for Halloween or anything please tag me or DM me your pictures so I can see them because I would love to see your guys' recreations I hope you guys really enjoyed this Halloween tutorial and these creepy fun spider eyes 
I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!